All right. So I'm going to play one of my favorite games of all time, Heroes of Might Magic 2. I played the crap out of this when I was a kid, but after playing it a little bit as an adult, I realized I am not very good at this, but I'm going to give it a try anyways. Uh, the only problem is this game likes to crash a lot. I don't know why. Uh, this is the GOG version, so I don't know why it crashes so much. It's not like I'm using the old CD, though I think I have the old CD around here somewhere. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start a campaign. Um, actually, we'll just do standard game, and we're going to see how long I can go before it just breaks. Um, so I'm just going to do random. We'll do random. Um, I want to hope end up with a warlock, but I don't want to choose that just because. Um, so here we go. Let's see what happens. And I'm playing on normal. Usually I play on easy, so we'll basically go till it crashes or until I lose um, or until I just feel like I need to stop for a little bit. So here we go. We're just doing the basic like scenario. Anyways, so I think it's me, green, and orange are all on the same team and then the other three so i think it's 3v3 let's see here six the alliance has crumbled in all our war lots of resources but little time to prepare okay so here we go let's see who i get barbarians okay uh, i'll tell you one thing i'm going to do is uh cut the sound effects down <laughs> the other thing about this game is that these sound effects are apparently loud and um a little shitty, honestly. I guess I could cut it down on my end. There we go. Alright, so it always starts you in the same place, regardless of what class you pick. So, picked up some gold. I'm going to get these halflings, uh, just benefits, and then we'll go to this mine. So, what you want to do is build out your castle, get new troops, and just kind of walk around and try and uh, take over everybody else. So, that's the plan. The problem is, you're always light on gold at the beginning. You have to make the right decisions. Hopefully you don't get killed. I'm usually a little too aggressive and end up dying right away, but we're going to give it a try. So we're just going to go to Stick Hut. That gives us orcs, which is uh, a ranged unit. And I really like the uh, ranged units and flying units are just kind of OP. Uh, just with re regardless of what class you pick, they're always OP. So you have a limited amount of movement. And, uh, you know, once your movement's over and you bought something from your castle, your turn's over. So you have a limited amount of movement. I'm going to use my movement to pick up this coal. You have resources like ore um, that allow you to buy certain troops, build certain things. Um, all pretty ordinary stuff when it comes to strategy games. But we can go back to our castle. Um, usually what I would do is just build another kind of troop. But I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and get our gold started to build up quicker. And the way to do that is build things like the statue, which... Increase our income by 250 a day. So every time I hit this little hourglass, a day goes by. So we're going to go here, pick up this chest. Chests give you either the ability to pick up gold or experience. All depends on whether you want your team to have a powerful hero behind them or if you want the money. I usually pick the money because it just allows me to buy more troops and buildings and stuff. Might be part of the reason I get my ass kicked so much. So we're just going to wander around. The thing about this... Uh, map is that you always start in the same place this game was from the from the 90s so it's like it's limited you know it can't randomly you know generate maps like you know games do nowadays so let's see let's go here uh this upgrades my ballistics so when i go to fight another castle i have catapults that will launch rocks and uh this just kind of improves that there's an artifact here these can boost your stats and stuff let's see if it'll actually give it to me Clumsy giant has killed himself with some flail. Knowing your superior skill with this weapon, you confidently remove the spectacular flail from the fallen giant. So I can click on my hero and see what that does. Giant flail of dominion increases your attack skill by one. Okay, not bad. Look at this guy's teeth. Holy shit, dude. That's either a graphical thing or you just got some trouble there with your uh, dental work. Picking up some gold. Getting some experience from this little gazebo. Uh, navigation increases your hero's movement points over water by one third. I guess we can do that since we already have the basic for ballistics. That way, if we ever do get on the water, rarely do I get on the water, nor is it truly necessary, but uh, sometimes you just need it. Alright, so um, we can upgrade our castle here. Uh, the well is needed to upgrade our troop amount so we'll go ahead and pick that up 
then we're going to move our guy up this way next turn. So as you can see, we're on day five. We'll keep moving. There's another treasure chest. We'll get that next turn. I'm actually going to skip buying anything this turn. Save a little bit of money. Uh, we'll pick up the gold again. But this turn, what I want to do is build up our next thing, which is going to be wolves. Wolves are pretty quick, can move pretty far, uh, and are pretty strong against earlier units. Uh, I did not have a magic book, so I did not learn anything from that. Oh, so you can see a little hero move down here. It's one of the other uh, bad guys. So, let's see, we can pick up this wood. And get this. So, capturing these things gives you a certain amount of that resource every day. So, it's good to always grab those when you can. So, I'm going to go back to my castle because on the next day, it's day seven, on the start of a new week, your troops refresh. Um, so, what I want to do here is just get as much as I can. So, I'm going to go ahead and buy this Adobe, which gives me ogres as well. Pick those up. Then, we're going to spend our turn. All right. So, at the beginning of each week, uh, you get uh, new troops. So all dwellings increase in population. There are times where certain troops will be cut in half. All troops will be cut in half. It all just depends. Sometimes you'll get double your troops. It just depends. It's random, I think. <laughs> I'm talking a lot like I know what the hell's going on, but who knows if that's really the case. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is start building up my castle a little bit, building turrets so if someone attacks... I have turrets that can come through. I'm going to buy all my troops here. As you can see, my gold is dwindling down really quick because of how expensive this stuff is. But this is all necessary to actually start moving past my castle. So growing up, I used to just what would be called hurdling, I guess, which is I would just sit here and build up troops and just not actually go anywhere. Um, but you can't really accomplish much doing that. So we're going to try and get out of here and uh, pick some stuff up. So let's go get this gem mine first. Let's attack these rogues. They want to join me. So sometimes troops, if you're powerful enough, um, they will want to join you and uh, join your party for free. Sometimes they'll ask you for gold, but in this case, they just want to join me. So I'm going to say yes. We get 41 of them. They're pretty weak, but having them is pretty cool. It's just free troops. Uh, what we'll do is we'll keep upgrading our castle. We'll build our right turret now a little bit of extra defense. I don't... This early in the game, no one's going to show up. We've got some gems going on there. Now we can go take on these wolves next turn. Skip another turn of spinning stuff at the castle. Let's go back to the castle. Um. So, let's see. Let's do the garbage heap. Do we want to do the garbage heap? It's relatively cheap, and it's going to increase our goblin production, which is good. All right, let's take on these wolves. Uh, they want to fight. Okay. So you can see the wolves are pretty fast, too. I'm going to skip his turn, because I don't want him walking up just to get attacked by all these wolves. We'll let them come to us. Early game, it's a good idea to just let them kind of approach you. Because if I'm strong enough... Okay, that's a good start. Let's see how many of these... Try and take these out. Nice. Ogres are big and strong, uh, but they move really slow. It can be uh, a little unhelpful at first. Wolves can also attack twice. I forgot about that. It doesn't matter though. Poor wolves. I have my headphones on so the dog can't hear what would essentially be the same sound if he were to you know, get hit with a club. Um, so we're gonna move. This guy over here to get him to stop getting hit so much. I've kind of blocked my. <laughs> I'm gonna get hit anyway. Stop it! Stop it! There we go. We did it. We lost some orcs there, which is not fun, but it is what it is. Alrighty, so we can kind of come up here, get some more gold, and call it a day. Right, we're on day five. So we'll go ahead and pick up the Mercury here. Um, each class has a troop, like a big, their big bad troop. That's like the best they can get. And in order to do that, they need 
specific resources to build them. Like uh, with the wolves and the ogres and orcs and stuff, uh, you only need gold to buy them. But with cyclopses, which come from the pyramid, you do need these crystals, these red crystals. Um, you can see I have five, so um, we got some work to try and find some more. Uh, we're going to go ahead and build the bridge, get some trolls going on out here. Look at this troll. They hut rocks, which is cool. So there's another there's another town up here. If I wanted to, I could take it. And I guess we might as well, because that will let me start pumping out more troops and stuff. Also looks like there's a mine over there, so let's see what's going on here. Oh, there's somebody up there. So the question is, let's move this way a little bit. Can I see them? I want to just get to where I can see them. Okay, so I think I can take this guy. Let's, uh... Let's take this guy out. He's got some slingy boys, but I think I should be able to get up real close and personal real quick and just take him out. Oh, he's got a lightning bolt. Spells can be super powerful, but uh, when you have just an abundance of units comparative to the others, it just doesn't really matter. Alright, so I'm definitely going to lose my orcs, but that's okay. I'm curious to see um, what this little town is. Because the castles can be different things. I think it's probably not going to be a barbarian. I also like how he shakes his head. It's like, it's... Alright, I can't get to this little guy yet, but that's okay. Stop the fucking lightning bolts. That's fine. That I knew that was going to happen. It's okay. These little guys are dead. Alright, so we lost some rogues, some wolves, and some orcs. All good. Pick up luck. A good idea. And the question is, do we want to? See what happens. So nobody moved. It's almost the new day. So do we? I feel like if we try to come to this little town right as it repopulates, it may get a little more difficult. So what we're going to do is come back to our castle. We won't really miss a whole lot if we lose that wood. It's okay. So nobody moved. Come back to our castle. We don't have 8,300 gold, so we're going to try and buy everything, but I don't know if we can, because 3,000 of it just went to trolls. We do need our orcs. Take our goblins. And our ogres. And have our guy come back. Which normally I can I can create multiple heroes if I want to, um, but I just don't really have the money for that right now. So we're going to save money by uh, not doing that. But... Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put the rogues up here. I'm put these guys down here. This here. Buy our wolves. Do this. And then we're going to take back off up this way to hopefully take some of these weaker heroes. So you can see by how weak their armies are. I'm coming for you. He's coming up here to take this castle. Which is a little unfortunate, but at the end of the day, it's fine. Oh, he didn't. He took off. Okay question is, do I take it? I guess I do take it, because it just kind of builds my... Okay. Yeah. So this is a necromancer castle, which is kind of neat. It will start kind of bringing in extra income, which is nice. Move our trolls down here. So everything's going to come after my wolves. Oh no, they're coming after my trolls, that makes sense. Uh, so I can... Oh, he's blocking my way, so I can't throw, so we'll just hit him. Blah! Shoot the zombies. Vampires. Turn to dust. Kill these skeletons. Things are really going our way. He gets an extra turn, which means he can come over here and probably one-shot these guys. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so we lost a troll and four wolves. Not bad. We'll take scouting. And now we have another castle. So it's currently just a tent. I uh, don't have enough money to actually build it yet, but that's fine. That's not the end of the world. Um, what we're going to do is see where these guys go. So they moved off. So now I can build this. 
Is it necessary? No, probably not. What am I doing it? Yes. The only problem is now I'm kind of going broke. So we're gonna have to figure out what we want to do here. Get some orcs from this little tower here, which is nice. We're gonna see what happens, see if somebody moves in. Okay, they're moving in on me. That makes sense. So what we're gonna do is go back to the castle. And we're going to uh, start, let's see, let's do let's up our income. We're just trying to make as much money as possible. We're running low, this happens a lot of the time. So I don't really want to move out of the castle, so we're just going to skip our turn and see if they come after us. They don't, but I can go after them because he is weak as can be, so let's do that. So, like I said, flying and shooting opponents are super OP. As you can see, they can just kind of shoot what they can hit whatever from any distance. Um, you can see they're targeting my uh, stuff here without even having to move or like. <laughs> ah. Oh, rainbow means this is probably going to kill him. Yep. And then it's Wolfie's turn, so he's going to come up here and bite these guys. Say goodbye, red guy. So we lost three trolls. They were losing trolls every turn, which is not fun. But at the end of it, it is what it is. I think this windmill gives me resources. Two gems. Super cool. Thank you. Um, let's see. So I have 3,700 gold now. Let's see what happens on the next turn. How much do I have? So I'm getting 2,500 a day. Get a little knowledge. Oh, here's my... Uh, here is my crystal that I need for my cyclopses. Okay, they're starting to move towards my castle, which is not good. I'm gonna have to start taking it. The problem is, I only have so much gold, so you, you know, you can only do so much. So I don't even have enough, what do I know? Oh, I don't have enough coal or ore. But we need to start putting stuff, putting troops here, so I'm gonna start building this up a little bit, more skeletons. The problem is, if anything comes and attacks, it, it's, uh, it's over, but these guys are not really that strong, and they're not really coming for me, so I think what we're going to do is... The game's going to crash. And that'll do it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.